Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. I'm excited to share my guest bathroom makeover because it's a continuation of my home makeover series. I know many of you guys really like seeing the before and after of each room, so I'm glad to share this recent project. If you missed my home makeover series, I'll leave it linked below in the description box so you can catch up. This is another guest bathroom and it's a room that I kept holding off on decorating because I wanted to finish other rooms that were first on my list. This video is sponsored by ShopTagger. Before I get started with any makeover, I set a budget and make sure to shop the best deals. My favorite shopping app is ShopTagger. It's a web and mobile app that notifies you when an item you have been wanting goes on sale or comes back in stock. To download ShopTagger, click Get ShopTagger button, add to Chrome, and add extension to your computer. After that, you're all set and ready to sign in with your email and password to start shopping. There are coupons that you can use that are ready for you to choose from and ShopTagger now offers cash back in select stores which is another bonus to saving even more money. One of my favorite lighting companies is Lamps Plus. For the first guest bathroom makeover downstairs, I purchased a beautiful light fixture that was on sale thanks to ShopTagger for notifying me the price had dropped. This time I'm shopping for a wall sconce for my stairway. I pass by that light fixture every day numerous times and I don't like what I see so I definitely have to change it. You can choose to be notified with any price change and select a category to make your shopping easier and more organized. I created a new list for light fixtures. Then hit save and it's now in your cart. When you're ready to check out, continue like you would with any of your other online shopping and ShopTagger will instantly scan the web for any additional coupons that could save you money. This item says it can't be combined with any other coupons, but it'll go ahead and scan to make sure you're getting the absolute best deal. Here's my list of other light fixtures I have my eyes on for when they drop down on price. I will leave the link to download ShopTagger in my description box and you'll really enjoy it because it's like your shopping assistant that lets you know when your favorite item goes on sale. Here's a before clip of the bathroom. As you can see, it's very plain, no decor, just plain and simple. No one uses this bathroom, so it wasn't important for me to get it done compared to other home projects. I really like these countertops but wanted to get a new look for them and keep it affordable so I added peel and stick marble contact paper you will see later in the video. It's a budget friendly way to change the look of them. I will leave the waterproof contact paper in my description box so you can use it for your bathrooms or kitchen counters if you want to change the look on a budget. I'm really happy about getting rid of the builder's hardware. These were the last to go and I found the perfect kitchen towel holders from the Home Depot along with the chrome faucets. I wanted to share what is available in my store in case you're looking to upgrade your faucets as well. This is all they had in my location, but you can see many more options online. The faucets I purchased were really affordable and such a great quality for $59.99 each. I noticed that they also had a lot of sales going on with their bathroom accessories. I didn't get a chance to record them because I was trying to be in and out, but if you're looking for bathroom accessories, check your Home Depot out. I bought all of these things from Walmart because I needed something quick, affordable, and elegant. These 84 inch panels were a great buy. I think they were $15 for this set and I'm going to use the chrome bar for the shower liner under the shower curtain rod. Since no one uses the guest bathroom, I'm going to use these panels for decorative purpose. You can still use these panels in your bathroom, just make sure you have a liner like this one so it doesn't get them wet. I really like having a neutral color scheme palette, that way I can add whatever pop of color I want. Let me know in the comments what colors you have in your home. I didn't want to get rid of this mirror and spend money on a new one because this one is still really nice, so I decided to paint it black for a different look. It gives it more of a modern, elegant, and bold look. I 
bought the top tray a few months back and recently went back to my local home goods and they had the bottom tray for $39.99 which was a total score because if you look online a similar one retails for over $100. I wanted to show you the difference between the two. The top one was $50. When I saw the smaller one I knew it would be perfect for the bathroom makeover. I printed some words on Etsy for the bathroom and I thought these would be really cute to add in the mirrored frame I've had for years. I bought this mirror from Hobby Lobby and loved the design of it so I knew it would be perfect in the bathroom. First I painted it silver to go with the aesthetic. You guys know I love to decorate, it's so much fun for me. It just makes me happy to see things the way I would like it to be with just putting in the effort. These black hand towels were super affordable from Target that I rolled up and placed on top of a cake stand for a glam look. I bought these at Home Goods for $5 each to finish off the look I was going for in the bathroom and here's how everything turned out. We added these acrylic candles and they make the whole bathroom look so much more expensive. They were only $45 for a set of 10. I love a good high-end look for less and we'll leave these linked as well. I recently did a Dollar Tree bathroom organization video and used these clear storage containers to hold guest essentials. I added gray liner to them for a more high-end store-bought look. Here's one more look of the before. I really enjoyed giving this bathroom a deserved makeover. Let me know in the comments what room you want to update. I will be sharing my newborn's nursery very soon along with another organization video because I love organizing and you guys really seem to enjoy those videos. This glittered wall art is from Burlington and I bought it for $50 which was a great deal because it's huge. If you're interested in how to make a similar one, I've done a couple on my channel. I'll leave them linked below.
have two options of decorated towels for you to see and let me know which one is your favorite. My favorite is the second one. It gives so much of a hotel look. One thing that I want to let you guys know is not to worry about what other people think of your home style. It's your home and if you love glam, modern, rustic, farmhouse, shabby chic, or whatever it is, go all out with it and decorate how it makes you happy. It's amazing what a new paint color can do to a room for a refreshed look and new hardware. When you put the love into what you do, you will see it even more beautiful in the end. This concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed and were inspired to update your bathroom or any room in your home. You can do it and the hard work will pay off when you walk into that space that makes you smile. I will be back sooner than you think and thank you all for being here. Don't forget to download ShopTagger. The link is in my description box. Be safe, be happy, and take care.